Alright, welcome to this is part three of my video tutorial on how to make uh, underwater camera housing for your video camera. Um, in this uh, part, I'm trying, going to try to and explain in more detail um, how to build it and show you exactly the bits you require. Um, because I've had a lot of questions from part one and two I've received recently. Um, I'm not quite sure how to put it together, so I'm going to try and answer everyone's questions that have been emailing me about it, and hopefully I'll be able to explain it uh, to you so you understand. Also, I will explain uh, how to make the final last bit that you'll need for the housing. Uh, it is a double seal insert bit you insert to and to the end before you put the screw cap on. Um, it is a fail safe for that first seal so if it does uh, leak there you can um, have a backup. I am down at uh, the local hardware supply in the plumbing section. You can get all the bits you need uh, just about for the underwater housing right here. Um, except for the uh, purse specs and you, you should be able to get the stainless steel band for the handle also. Okay, to explain the assembly process, what we are going to do is we're going to pretend to cut the housing down the centre, right down the centre there, right in half, in half, in half, down the centre. Alright. <laughs> Once we pretend we cut it down the centre, we're going to look at it side on. Alright. But I'm going to use paper cutouts as the side on look. All right. All right. For, all right. Here is our piece of storm water pipe, our 100 mil storm water pipe. I'm looking at cutting half side on. First, you start off with that. Here's our camera. Put the camera inside the pipe. Make sure she fits, cut it the size to suit. That's our perspex. That's the bit that goes on the end there. So your camera can see through. And you'll need your end cap. 
first thing to do is cut out cut out a window here in the end cap so when you put this perspex in here you'll be able to see through the end cap so we use magic pair of bloody scissors cut out a window in the end cap that's our little window when you get your piece of perspex cut out into circle round um, the perspex place usually leaves the paper on each side of where it's got to see through um, what you need to do is between where you cut the hole on the end cap and the outer side is just to remove that little bit between there and there so when you glue the perspex into there into the end cap the glue will seal the glue will seal along that that little bit there and also along the top there when you remove that little bit of paper from that side so it can glue or go up against inside the end cap there also remove a mil uh, go two or three mil of the paper from the outside in a little bit also for when it glues on the other side of the pipe the reason for leaving the paper on the front is so the glue doesn't get on the bit you want to see through along there and also on along the back of the perspex once you've done that uh, apply glue to the, around the end cap around there both sides also on the little bit there that where you've removed the paper along the top and around the back there and do that same on the other side a little bit of glue there a little bit of glue there a little bit of glue there when you've done that you can insert the perspex inside the end cap like so then grab your bit of pipe apply apply glue to the end there and also to the end and insert the end cap onto the pipe like so then what you want to do is get a rag grab a rag inside the pipe wipe out any of the excess from where it might have came in there at the corners wipe it out also on the outside wipe off the excess glue same with also in here in, in the end cap where you cut it out there will be some excess glue wipe through that squeeze through wipe that away uh, because we left the paper on the front along the front there and also along the back uh, we don't have to worry about the glue getting on it because the paper will protect it there All right. the reason for assembling it like this you get maximum amount of surface area around there into the housing and the most longest distance for the water to leak through if it, there is a failure so the, the, the longer the distance the more the glue the harder it is for the water to break through and leak in um, also by putting it like this the water pressure pushing in or pushing in pushing in on that way on the lens the actual pipe will stop it from the lens pushing in as if where you add the lens if you just glue glue the perspex I should say not the lens if you glue this perspex in just like that on the end of the pipe the water pressure will eventually crack where you're glued it and the lens will fail and it will be pushed back because there's nothing behind it to stop from sliding along the pipe that's why 
we make the perspex the same diameter of the pipe that way it will push there's no way it can get pushed down along the pipe because it's bigger than the pipe right, now that we assembled that end we can go down to the other end Here we have the screw cap end without the screw bit on the cap, it's just the fitting. Um, what you want to do is tape on the inside of the screw cap on this surface just here on both sides. The reason for doing this is for when we insert the double seal insert, it is still a clean surface, there's no glue on it to make it leak. When you're ready to fit it, apply glue on this side of it, also that side. Also apply glue to the outside of the pipe. <laughs> then fit the, the fitting onto the pipe, like so. And grab a rag, wipe the excess off around there and there. Don't worry about getting on the bit of tape you put there because when you pull the tape off it should still be a clean surface along the top there. Also remove any excess from the outside. Once it sets you can then remove the tape from the inside of the pipe there and there. And then you have now completed the basic housing. The reason for keeping the inside of that surface of the screw lid is for the double seal insert. So once I'll explain this, um, hopefully I've already explained it, I'll explain it later. Um, so you can insert, it's not quite the right size, but you'll get the dress. So you can insert it, oh, there we go, so I can insert it into the end the o-rings will seal against that fitting and then and then you have your screw screw end bit go over with your other o-ring go over there so I'll use my hand as this illustration of the screw cap <laughs> you screw it on and it'll screw on like that like so the reason for the two handles so you can uh, pull out the double seal insert and also it will hold it in against the stops that way it will not twist and fail and leak okay. once you've glued both ends you can stick your hand down inside the pipe and peel the paper off that surface of the perspex and also remove the paper from this side of the perspex <coughs> also what you might want to do is when you put your camera in put your camera in you might want to glue a bit of plastic So we'll glue about there, say roughly, to the pipe. So when you insert your camera into the pipe, it won't the lens won't touch up against the perspex because if it touches your lens touches the perspex, it will scratch the perspex. So if you put a little stopper there, it'll stop it from scratching it. Also, you can put if we stood the camera up this end from the top, you can put a couple of uh, straight bit of plastics just to stop it from twisting also in there. Uh, if you have a look at other Matey's video, um, you'll have seen his where he has done it for his camera and you'll get the idea. When you insert your camera, for example into the housing, I know it's not the size but yeah, the idea. Um, if you have a bit of gap here between the, the double seal insert and the camera, um, to stop it from sliding backwards and forwards, 
just jam a bit of rag behind there but make sure when you're jamming in you, you don't hit the record button and turn it off like I did on one dive and it hide the whole camera the whole time and I actually hit the stop button by accident when I put the rag in <laughs> um, or a bit of sponge just stops it from moving around but if, if you cut your pipe to the perfect size um, you 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 probably could get away with um, not using anything at all but just a little bit of something there just to stop it from moving backwards and forward